Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 48 in chapter 21. Chapter 21 is about electric charge and electric field. So we can say in this system, we need to determine the direction and the magnitude of electric field at the position P. So we can say we have two charges, right? Positive charge Q and negative charge, ne negative charge Q, negative, negative Q located at Y axis with a distance A above or below the X um, axis. So in this case, so first lesson, we can draw the electric field by the positive Q. You can see positive charges, the electric field will outward, radically outward follow this way, right? So this is called EQ. And for the negative charge, it is radically inward. So this is E negative Q. You can see for this electric field, the E Q, E negative Q, they are vectors, right? So when we want to find the electric field at this point, we need to do the addition for these two vectors, agree? So we can project the E Q in X component and the Y component. At X component, it is E cosine theta. At the Y component, E sine theta, right? And then the negative E, negative Q, this vector can project in S component, E cosine theta, E sine theta, right? So where does this E come from? E is the magnitude of electric field for EQ and E negative Q. It is just K times Q divided by the distance squared. You can see distance squared, so we look at this triangle. The distance squared just equal to a squared plus rx squared, right? So you can say this e equal to the k, k times q divided by x squared plus a squared. Now we can see for this uh, picture, for this uh, vectors eq and e negative q, uh, after we projected in s component and y component, so this, uh, this uh, x component e cosine theta, can be cancelled with E cosine theta by E negative Q, agree? Because they are equal in magnitude but opposite in durations. So only survival term is this one and this one. So there we can write it as a net vector as 2E sine theta because this part plus this part, right? So 2E sine theta, the direction is a negative J. J is up. So we add the negative side to tail, it is pointing down. Agree? Now we input the E from this part, and the sine theta is easy in this triangle, right? This is A, and this length is squared, x squared plus A squared. So we input the E and the sine theta, and simplify, we get the answer there. The magnitude is this term and it pointing to the y direction. Thank you.